goes into a tin that is hand rolled by our very best rollers in our factory. It's unheard of. It, it does not happen. Uh, usually these kind of cigars is how you teach the rollers and they learn. So really amazing. We have a, a Havana 2000 and a Maduro version. Just a real, real rich, full-bodied cigar. And then we can move on here. Now these are not new. Grand age as well, only 500 boxes a year. This is Nicaraguan, Dominican Nicaraguan. This is, without a doubt, the darkest Cameroon wrapper on the market. Uh, and then on this side, one of our, the Shaggy, we have added a chain and a Maduro. They're amazing. It's our fastest selling cigar in the country. Yeah, I've got a few of those. Yeah, amazing, yeah. amazing cigars. Um, and we leave the Shaggy foot on for, for two reasons. Number one, we're partly about, you know, just kind of shock and awe. It's like packaging amazing. And what's amazing about the cigar when you smoke it, as you know, the first five, the half inch is only the five-year-old Dominican filler. It's very light, it's very floral, but when that burns off and it hits the binder and the wrapper, it just turns into a whole different cigar. So it goes through this great transition. It, it's such a beautiful cigar. And then we'll move down to the next cabinet. This is the signature 1887 Red Rothschild. This is our very first cigar that uses Indian filler, and as you know, Kaisan is Indian. It's a five-year-old Connecticut shade wrapper, Dominican binder, Indian and Peruvian filler. It's mild to medium, but it is the richest mild to medium cigar I've ever smoked in my life. They're under $10 in New York, Keystone with tobacco tax. They're about $9.50 on the shelf. We have a Black Rothschild, which is exactly the same cigar, but in a black box, and it uses a Nicaraguan Maduro wrap, which changes everything, of course. Uh, incredible cigars. Our original cigars um, that Kaisad produced, uh, these are infused with Louis Tre. Um, it's a single infusion. We have a cigar called the Royal uh, Reserve, which we're out of right now. It's a triple infusion, the filler in the binder. And what we do is we, we lay the tobacco, the filler in the binder, out on these huge tables, and then we mist the Louis tray onto it. it takes, it's very labor intensive. We have to turn the tobacco. Uh, and then finally, His Majesty's Reserve, which we don't even show, is, a, is the most expensive production cigar in the world. It's $15,000 for a box of 20. Um, the tobacco is 15 years old, and we use an entire bottle of Louis Trey to infuse the filler in the binder. It takes months to do it, and the tobacco is 15 years old. Just incredible. This is new from uh, late last year. The packaging on this is really quite unique and, and inspired by Miami, where Kaizad lives and his, and his warehouse and his home. If you look at the side of the box, it's made to look like the front of a cigarette racing boat. And if you know racing, I'm into boating, uh, the big ocean racing boats, you've got a throttle man and a guy that steers the boat. This lid would be the canopy that comes down over the driver and the throttle man. The box is wood, but it's covered in black rubber. It feels like a scuba diving outfit. Just extraordinary. They're $8. It's all Nicaraguan, Nicaraguan Maduro filler and binder. They're very rich. It's just got a great write-up in Cigar Aficionado. Um, nothing else new there. Let's come down here. This is the Crest. Only 200 boxes will be available this year. What's up? How are you? 36 cigars. The tobacco is nine years old. We use the most expensive Maduro wrapper money can buy. Connecticut Maduro Broadleaf number one. Nine-year-old Nicaraguan filler and binder. They're very rich, medium to strong. Um, and this will be a $35 retail cigar. And again, only 200 boxes will be available uh, for production this year. So something very, very special. And then packaging that is, that is worthy of, of royalty. Uh, just it's extraordinary. All right, and then let's move down a little bit further. This is a very rare eight-year-old Costa Rican Maduro. The Beast. The Beast. Oh, okay, it's a great cigar. The Beast and the Black Beauty. The Black Beauty was voted one of the 25 best cigars in 2007 by the Rob Report. This we introduced last year. Our status. This is a, a fuller version, a fuller-bodied version, if you will, of a, a classic Ashton. Great packaging, crystal tube. Then we move on to, this is brand new, this is the Status Maduro. Only 300 boxes will be produced this year. Again, it uses a, a Maduro Broadleaf number one. It's very rich and it will be very, these will be sold out probably by tomorrow. Um, 
This is our Black Dragon, which was voted one of the 10 best cigars of 2008 by the Rob Report, the best of the best. We were in there with Davidoff, Fuente, some of the usual suspects. Um, an incredible cigar. The box is all leather, uh, and it's made to look like a book when it's closed. And the orange part would be the pages, if you will, of the book. And then we move around. We've come out with three stronger versions of the original Black Dragon. The original Black Dragon, they all have an Ecuadorian Maduro. The original one has a Cameroon binder Dominican filler. The new Black Dragons, for example, this magnificent box, this is called the Dragon Fire. It actually has a shaggy foot on it. It's an Ecuadorian Maduro, but Nicaraguan filler and binder. So it's a fuller version of the original Black Dragon. Just extraordinary. And this will be about a $10 retail cigar in stores. Hmm. And this was the, the best of the best issue that came out last month. Um, and they picked the 10 best cigars in the world, and we were honored to be one of them. This is the new Black Dragon, uh, the, the uh, Black Dragon Tubo. Uh, we'll produce maybe a thousand boxes a year. Again, this is the stronger version of the Black Dragon. And again, it's a frosted crystal tube. And that's the stronger version of the original Black Dragon, and that's the Bra uh, Black Dragon Crystal Tubo. And then next to that is the new Black Dragon Fury. Uh, again, this is a stronger version of the original Black Dragon. And let me grab the box here. see that there is a kind of almost a ghost image of the dragon as we move around the dragon continues around the box and again you know a big part of what we are is the most stunning packaging in the world now a lot of guys and I've been in the business since 92 will say you know what are we making a five dollar cigar a ten dollar cigar because we're putting a really expensive box on it the answer is no all of this is made in china for pennies on the dollar you would have no you wouldn't believe how cheap these boxes are to make what's important is that the draw to us the first time is the packaging what brings people back is the extraordinary cigars inside the box the worst thing in the world you can do is have have it go like this Try the Fury the first time. The guy comes back the next day, did you smoke it? I smoked it. The best thing about that cigar was the box. You're dead. The word goes from east to west coast in a week, and everyone knows the best thing about this product is the box. What keeps them coming back is the amazing cigar on the inside. First impressions are amazing, but people come back because of the product inside the box. And that, gentlemen, is the, um, is the tour.